Seven days ago, I decided that I was gonna take on freelance programming. I signed up for Upwork, set my hourly rate to $20 an hour, snapped a profile pic, and started applying for jobs. Profile photo set, time to start applying for jobs. I wanted to try Upwork for the content, if you will. Uh, my initial goal was to try to get 30 days on the platform, but after these last seven days, I just don't think that's happening. When I first got into this, I had absolutely no idea what I was getting into. And let's just say it's been an interesting experience. So yesterday morning after creating my profile, I applied to about 24 job postings. And um, I got up this morning, I hadn't heard anything back. It'd been about 24 hours. So I did some research and I found out that maybe I should lower my hourly rates. Um, so I lowered it from $20 an hour to $15 an hour this morning. And I also pimped out my profile a little more. So I added some uh, portfolio items and I updated my uh, bio. So within the first 24 hours, I ended up spending about $10 applying for jobs and I even lowered my rate from $20 an hour to $15 an hour. Anyways, later that night after setting my hourly rate lower, I uh, received my first interview. The interview was a dumpster fire, to put it lightly. So first of all, this guy wanted a code conversion from Swift to Kotlin for $500, which I understand on Upwork, you're kind of looking for cheap labor, but in any like professional organization, this probably would have cost like 10 to $15,000 according to what I calculated. Uh, but that's not really what ticked me off. Um, in the interview, he proceeded to tell me how he hated or he didn't like the last four to five developers, that he gave them bad reviews and that he even had to fire one of them. And um, this was like a pretty big red flag. Not only did he talk about that, he ended up saying some pretty shocking things that I don't really feel comfortable discussing. Um, but after he said those things, I determined like, you know, there's no way I wanna work with this guy. Anyways, I was, uh, I was determined to land that first job. So I kept pushing through and I landed my first gig for $10, not $10 an hour, $10. I was really desperate for work because I really wanted this video to work out um, and I had been doing research online and I figured out like a good way to actually get jobs is to have like five star reviews on your uh, portfolio on Upwork. In my head I was like okay I'll do this for very cheap um, and hopefully he'll give me a five star review and maybe that will give me some more uh, clients. And the app was simple, it was a three page tab layout in Android. I had it completed in about 45 minutes, but after I sent the code to the guy, he ended up having troubles running it on his machine. So I spent about two hours going back and forth with this guy, reformatting the files, trying to get everything working so it'd run on his machine. Eventually, I just had to like remote log into his computer and get it compiling. So in the end, it was a lot of work for only $10, but he did end up tipping me $5, which was a nice gesture, I guess. And um, you know, most importantly, he left that first five-star review on my profile. So in total, I made $15 from that project, but when you factor in Upwork's 20% cuts, um, I only made about $12. But after this point, I'm feeling pretty confident with this five-star review on my profile, and I end up landing my first hourly contract. I found this posting from this guy who said his iOS uh, app had bugs and needed it to be fixed. So I applied for that job posting through Upwork, and my crazy ass found his business page on Facebook and DM'd him through Facebook to hire me through Upwork. It was kind of a long shot, and um, after I DM'd him, I kind of felt like, okay, maybe I shouldn't do that. Uh, but I just didn't want my application to get lost in the process. I applied for like 30 jobs at this point, and I only landed one of them. Most of my applications never made it past the initial uh, proposal phase. Anyways, uh, he seemed to like my initiative, I guess, uh, and we came to an agreement that I'd work for $15 an hour, so long as he gives me another good review on my profile. So I met with this guy on Zoom. Uh, he was an ex-radio host who had a Christmas music streaming app that wasn't working properly. I ended up putting in a fix for both his iOS and tvOS application. It's working! Yay! So we pushed that update and he was extremely happy with the work that I did and he left me an absolute banger of a review. So I made $82.50 from that engagement uh, and of course that's before Upwork's ridiculous 20% cut. And that was pretty much all I was able to accomplish with my first week on Upwork. Uh, granted, I was only able to do this on my free time outside of work and I think I spent a total of like six hours on the uh, applications that I worked on. 
So was it worth it? Um, for the experience? Yeah, you know, I'm not gonna lie, it was a lot of fun. For the money? Hell no, man. I ended up making only $12 an hour after Upwork's ridiculous 20% fee, right? Which is $2 less than the minimum wage of where I live. But I didn't do it for the money. I kind of expected uh, going into Upwork that I was gonna get shafted. <laughs> Can I say that word on YouTube? I don't know. However, I did do this video knowing that I was gonna uh, donate all the proceeds to a charity that I really believe in and my local community called Chicago Hope for Kids. Basically what they do is they help homeless children receive a proper education. So I donated all of my uh, $97.50 to this charity. So anyways, if you're thinking about becoming a full-time freelancer, I would suggest you stay away from the freelancing websites and uh, you really focus on building your own clientele. The thing is with Upwork, man, is that you're always gonna get outbid. There's always gonna be somebody who's willing to do the work cheaper for you. When I talked to my first real client, um, the Christmas music app guy, he told me that I, I think the number was around 30 proposals. I got what, 42 proposals in like four hours? No shit. Yeah. Had I not reached out to him on Facebook, I don't think there's any way I would have gotten that job. So I have almost five years of industry experience writing code for corporate companies and I had to basically charge less than what I made at my first internship to uh, land my first real gig. Now, is one week too early to judge the platform? Uh, maybe but I don't think I'll be returning. Here's what I will say about Upwork. I think it is a phenomenal place to actually practice your client skills. Uh, so if you are thinking about becoming a freelancer, if you will, uh, you can go on Upwork, you can charge cheap, and you can get that experience, right, uh, talking to people and like building relationships. But you gotta be careful because you can't take those relationships outside of Upwork or you'll get charged like a really large fine. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.